Hello and welcome back to the Kundershop channel. If you're managing sales in Odoo CRM module, having a well-organized pipeline is crucial for tracking opportunities and closing deals effectively. In today's video, I'll guide you through setting up and customizing your pipeline, adding stages and adjusting them to fit your workflow in Odoo 18. So let's get started. When you open the CRM module, you'll see the pipeline dashboard. By default, Auto displays opportunities in the Kanban view, where different sales stages help you track leads as they move through the process. You might notice that the pipeline initially filters opportunities assigned to you, indicated by the My Pipeline filter at the top. If you want to see all opportunities in the system, simply remove this filter. Each stage in the pipeline represents a step in a sales process. And the great thing is that Odo allows you to fully customize these stages to fit your workflow. Let's take a look at how you can do that. To modify an existing stage, simply hover over the stage name and click the gear icon. You'll see several options. Hold to hide the stage. You can always unfold it later by clicking the arrows. Edit to change the stage name, mark it as a one stage, or adjust other settings. Next, we have automations. This section allows you to set up pre-configured automation rules to streamline your workflow and reduce manual work. We will cover automations in more detail in an upcoming video. Finally, there is the delete option. If you no longer need a stage, you can remove it. If you want to add a new stage, just click the plus stage button, give it a name, let's go with second proposition, then hit add. After that, you can drag and drop it into the appropriate spot in your pipeline. I'll go ahead and place it right after first proposition. Now that our pipeline is set up, let's see how to add a new opportunity. There are two ways to do this. You can either click the plus icon next to a stage to add an opportunity directly inside it, or you can use the new button at the top left. That will create the opportunity from scratch and place it in the default new stage. When you're adding an opportunity, you'll need to fill in a few key details. First, the customer name. Let's go with Deco Edit. If there are already in the system, Auto will automatically fill in their details. If not, you can enter them manually. Next, the opportunity title. Let's name this one Order for 10 Laptops. Then set the expected revenue, basically the estimated value of the deal. And finally, priority. You can use the star icons to mark it as a high priority opportunity. Once that's all set, just click add and your opportunity will appear in the stage you selected. As opportunities move through the sales process, you can drag and drop them from one stage to another, just like that. This makes it easy to update their status as things progress. Now you might have noticed these color-coded activity bars at the top of each stage. Green means you've got planned activities ahead, yellow means there is something scheduled for today, red that's an overdue activity, so we see the tension, and gray means there are no activities scheduled for that opportunity. You can schedule these activities by clicking the gray clock icon. This brings up a pop-up where you can choose an activity type, like an email, call, meeting, or something else, add a quick summary to keep things clear, Set a due date to make sure you follow up on time, assign it to a team member, and add any notes for reference. Using activities like this helps you stay organized and make sure every opportunity gets the attention it needs, keeping your sales process smooth and efficient. And that's it. Now you know how to set up, customize, and manage your pipeline in the Auto 18 CRM module. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, and subscribe to stay updated with more audio tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.